So we're here in the WIT studio with Alfonso Parades, SVP for Commercial Partnerships at Expedia. So um, I have a slightly long question to begin with. Um, Expedia Group rolled out a few partnerships recently. So that's SoFi, there's MasterCard, there's Wheel the World. Um, and you are powering Walmart plus Travel.com, right? So by enabling giant retailers like this, do you risk losing business on the B2C side of things? You know, like why would consumers continue to use Expedia's brands if they can have, um, you know, like other channels that they can basically book on and have that same experience. Yeah, thank you, Arvin. We are very lucky to have Expedia Group and uh, with a B2C arm. Right. Uh, that actually, just think about it. This B2C Expedia, the, the brand Expedia, uh, has all the knowledge, uh, all the experience around uh, the traveling, the entire traveling journey. And we get all that information, then put it back with some product and tech and then reshape it and bring it back to our B2B customers. So what I will say is that for me, it's just, it's just, uh, it's just we're very, in the B2B business, we're very lucky to have um, to have this, this B2C presence. Now, to your question on, on um, Walmart, SoFi, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, again, the answer to that is, is no. So let me, let me just share with you why do I think it's not, it's not competition there. Um, if you look at Walmart clients, these are these are probably customers that they will probably be part of the Walmart Plus, as you say, the Walmart Plus program where mm -hmm. there is loyalty involved. These are customers that they most likely will have points to redeem. Right. So, or they're redeeming them Walmart and they could redeem in buying books or, you know, buying a coffee or whatever it is, or they could actually use it to buy travel. Those people are not necessarily sure they will go and buy travel in Expedia. Right. Because they cannot redeem the points in Expedia. Those are points from Walmart Plus. So um, that to say that to me is, is, is super complementary. Now, what the customers from, from, from Walmart, what they are going to find there is more than 3 million properties. They are going to find more, around, 200, um, around 200 countries where they can find those properties. They are going to find 500 airlines, many car rentals, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, excellent customer service. Um, technology, etc. These are, these are things that we provide to the to our customer, and by the way, our customer and I mean our partner, right. and that they can deliver to the, to them. So it's a win win. So I will say, not only it is is actually not taking business from the B, from the B two C, but actually I believe we're very very lucky uh, to have that B two C arm that give us so many tools and technology that then we can reshape and give back to our to our partners. Right. So am I right to say that they operate in completely different ecosystems, that there's enough of the pie for everyone? Uh, well, do you mean with, with Walmart and, yes. and the rest? Yes. Yeah, there is a little bit of ecosystem, a different ecosystem, but they use our technology. So we power our yes. technology. In the case of in the case of Walmart, what we are doing for them is we're providing them a white label template mm -hmm. that offers different type of solutions, car, Fly Plus Hotel, et cetera, et cetera, where, right. where people can redeem their points too. Right, right. Mm -hmm. So in general, right, yeah. like how do you balance B2B growth with B2C business? Like uh, is the one key loyalty program, uh, you know, is that an example of building consumer stickiness across Expedia's brands? Yes, I will say for sure. Um, I think one loyalty also brings one, one simple fact that is that is relevant and many people didn't know, but... One key is the ultimate, is the tip of the iceberg, and actually is the answer to um, all of the work we have been doing, the company Expedia Group, during the last years, trying to bring all the platforms together, all the migration together. And one key is kind of the, the baby, the solution of, uh, of, all, our, of all of our uh, quests. Um, one key is actually a, a very unique program because, yes, it brings stickiness, but also brings simplicity. Um, it actually bring and it's very comprehensive. You know, you spend uh, some money on on a hotel or an apartment or whatever it is, and then you get a certain money in terms of uh, we call it one key cash. Right. If you look at other programs we used to have in the past, it's important to also notice that um, it was about um, um, you know stay more than one night, two nights, three nights. You started to get. You started to get rewarded after 10 nights, et cetera, et cetera. But what we realized is that um, actually 80% of the people, maybe not you and I that we work in this business and we can travel quite a lot, right. but 80% of the people, they don't spend 10 nights in a hotel per year. They cannot afford that. So why would you have to wait 10 nights mm -hmm. to get rewarded for that? What if you can get rewarded actually from day one? 
And this is what it does. It actually brings it brings you the rewards right away. You don't have to wait in nights. And then uh, last but not least, what I will say is we have three uh, powerful brands, ExpediaHotels.com and Verbo. And Verbo didn't have a, a loyalty program. So now, and I put you this example. Uh, I was actually last summer in uh, in France. The program yeah. it was not launched. And it's also, by the way, launched only in the U.S. for now. And it's going to expand now to Europe, APAC, et cetera, et cetera, in the right. upcoming months. But I made a booking for me and my family in summer uh, to go to France. And, you know, I actually didn't make any any points out of that. So Verbo now has this uh, program, mm-hmm. part of... Uh, part of the same like Expedia and, and Hotels.com, right. you could actually earn points in Verbo and you could actually spend it in Hotels.com or in Expedia.com, etc. So um, and vice versa. So um yeah it's it's a great win-win. And also if you look at it what it is important also for our for the hotel partners, for example, usually those type of clients they are clients that stay more than one night. They are clients mm-hmm. that they are repetitive customers, etc. They are clients that spend more money, actually. So these are the type of clients that the hotels want. Right. Clients that actually repeat, they spend more money on minibars, they spend more money on room service, etc., etc. So it's it definitely, you are right, it brings a tremendous amount of stickiness. But your partnership's are also quite diverse. So the names that we mentioned just now, right? So SoFi is online banking, MasterCard is a credit card, there's Wheel the World, which is an accessible travel platform. What is next? What is next is uh, from one side on the... Uh, we are going to keep on leveraging new business uh, mm-hmm. and all varieties of leveraging, even if it comes from loyalty, wherever it comes from, uh, they are, we're more than welcome as long as there is this intention to get a, a better journey for, for the final customer. Right. And let's not forget, uh, this is all about win-win uh, for our partners and for us. But at the end of the day, the one who has to win is the traveler. We want the traveler to be the the, the, the the winner in all of this. Give them a great satisfaction. When you travel, you came from Malaysia to here, Malaysia to here. So yes. when you travel, you want to have that experience that you remember forever. No? So this is what we're trying to do and make sure our partners, uh, they, are, they, they want to do the same. Um, we're very focused on new business. We continue growing our existing business. The growth is phenomenal from, from my division for private label solutions. And we expect to continue growing that and keep on meeting partners face to face because this is what's going to make us successful. This is what made us successful in the past. It's part of our secret sauce. Right. So travel is number one. Travel is number one. Right. So talking about the secret sauce yeah. and Expedia's mission, right? So given your B2B growth is based on the power of Expedia's uh, travel operating system, Travel OS, mm-hmm. uh, what tech innovations are you most excited about that will enhance Travel OS so that it can power more companies to succeed in this, you know, this universe of travel, which, yeah. like you said, is the mission. Yeah, there are many, no, and and then it's um, it's a very it, it's a very typical, very common thing to talk about these days about artificial intelligence, right? And and machine learning. My my father always says to me, uh, before having artificial intelligence, you just need to have intelligence first. So that's important. But <laughs> it's, it's basic it, intelligence. It, yeah, it's basic intelligence, but yeah. it's true. Uh, that's what we need to have. No, but um, seriously. So back to the 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 favorite topic of artificial intelligence, et cetera. Yeah. It's great. We've been doing this for a while. We are developing, for example, fraud prevention as a service. There is plenty of fraud uh, across the, the entire travel industry around the year. I think it's right. around $21 billion um, on fraud. Um, and we keep on developing that technology that allow us to you know, solve that issue. Um, but not only for Expedia, we also decided to export, saying like I was saying to you on like the B2C, they develop and then we sell it. We are the lucky guys. Um, so we will continue now outsourcing that and make sure we sell that to our partners related to um, um, servicing the final client, et cetera, right. et cetera, and chats and so on and so on. Um, and then again, we Rapid API is, is one of our main um, tools and the API for m- most of our partners and we continue developing and enhancing that API, you know, uh, making sure we're able to provide the best rates, not, not only the rates available, but the ones that they match exactly what the customer is looking for. Right. So this is where we're spending our, our time. Awesome. Alfonso, thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much. Pleasure. Thank you. 